This man claims that he caught a glitch in the Matrix. The video starts with the Pope ending his speech at the Vatican. However, as he's turning around, he suddenly vanishes, which causes the screen to swap to another camera. The man who originally found this footage said that it's hard to see, and it's not until you view it frame by frame that you notice that he suddenly vanishes. Oddly enough, this isn't the first time that something like this has happened, and although some have said that it's likely a camera glitch, it's caused others to suggest that this could have been a hologram. In the digital age, the term glitch has become synonymous with technical malfunctions and errors. However, the phrase a glitch in the matrix transcends its digital connotation, entering the realm of popular culture and philosophical musings. Coined from the 1999 film The Matrix, this expression has evolved to signify peculiar and unexplainable anomalies in reality that challenge our understanding of existence. In the science fiction film The Matrix, the term glitch in the matrix is used to describe unexplained anomalies or disturbances in the simulated reality inhabited by humans. Within the context of the movie's plot, humanity lives in a computer-generated virtual world, the matrix, while their physical bodies remain enslaved in a dystopian reality controlled by artificial intelligence. A glitch refers to an abnormality or inconsistency in the simulated reality, suggesting that something is not as it should be. Beyond its cinematic origins, the expression has transcended the boundaries of fiction to describe real-life experiences that appear surreal or inexplicable. In contemporary discourse, people use the term to refer to strange coincidences and other seemingly improbable occurrences that evoke the sense of living in a simulated or glitched reality. The phrase, a glitch in the matrix, has profound existential and philosophical implications. It prompts individuals to question the nature of reality and the limits of human perception. The idea that reality might be an elaborate simulation challenges traditional notions of existence and raises age-old philosophical questions about the nature of consciousness and the external world. If reality is merely a simulation, then what constitutes true existence? How do we discern between reality and illusion? These profound inquiries challenge the very foundation of our understanding of the self and the universe. Quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the behavior of subatomic particles, introduces the idea of uncertainty and probabilistic nature at the fundamental level of reality. Quantum mechanics suggests that particles exist in a superposition of states until observed, raising the question of whether reality is inherently indeterminate until perceived. The idea of a glitch in the matrix draws parallels with the uncertainty principle, which posits that we cannot precisely measure both the position and momentum of a particle simultaneously. The very act of observation affects the outcome, blurring the lines between reality and observer. The phenomenon of déjà vu, often associated with a glitch in the matrix, further challenges our understanding of reality and consciousness. Déjà vu occurs when an individual feels a strong sense of familiarity with a situation they believe to be encountering for the first time. While scientists offer neurological explanations for this phenomenon, the experience raises questions about the nature of time, memory, and the continuity of consciousness. Additionally, optical illusions and perceptual distortions demonstrate how easily our brains can be tricked into perceiving something that is not there. These glitches in perception remind us of the limitations of our senses, and the subjective nature of reality. This idea has gained traction in recent years, with prominent figures like Elon Musk suggesting the likelihood of humanity living in a simulation created by advanced civilizations. While the simulated reality hypothesis remains speculative and lacks empirical evidence, it fuels discussions about the nature of reality, the existence of higher beings or entities, and the possibility of parallel universes. 
The idea that our world might be a simulation, akin to a complex computer program, has gained traction in modern philosophical and scientific discourse. Propelled by advances in technology and theoretical inquiries, this provocative hypothesis posits that we might be living in a simulated reality created by advanced beings or entities. The notion that reality might be a simulated construct is not a new concept. It echoes ancient philosophical inquiries about the nature of existence and the external world. For example, Plato's allegory of the cave describes individuals confined in a cave, perceiving only shadows on the wall cast by objects outside. These shadows represent their reality, analogous to a simulated environment where one's perception shapes their experience of reality. Advancements in technology have propelled the notion of living in a simulated reality into the forefront of modern discussions. Philosopher Nick Bostrom's simulation argument is a seminal work that has stimulated much debate on this topic. Bostrom's argument postulates that one of the following three scenarios is likely. Advanced civilizations do not have the capability or desire to create simulated realities. Advanced civilizations have the capacity to create simulated realities, but choose not to do so. We are living in a simulated reality created by an advanced civilization. Bostrom suggests that the third scenario, where we are living in a simulation, is the most probable. His reasoning stems from the idea that technologically advanced civilizations are likely to develop the capability to create vast simulations, and if even a fraction of these civilizations choose to do so, there would be an overwhelming number of simulated worlds compared to the one real world. The simulation hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness and reality. If our world is a simulation, what constitutes consciousness within the simulated entities? Are these simulated beings sentient and self-aware in the same way as their creators? Additionally, the concept of a simulated world challenges our perception of reality and the distinction between the real and the simulated. If the experiences within a simulation are indistinguishable from those of the real world, then the notion of authenticity becomes blurred. As such, the very distinction between real and simulated reality loses its significance. Critics argue that the simulation hypothesis faces challenges related to the vastness of the observable universe. The universe, as observed by astronomers and cosmologists, appears to be boundless and evolving in complexity. Creating a simulated reality that accurately models the entire observable universe would require computational power beyond the reach of current technology. However, proponents of the hypothesis contend that the simulated reality need not encompass the entire observable universe. Instead, the simulation could be localized to a specific region, such as our solar system, or even just our planet, while the rest of the cosmos remains beyond the simulation's scope. This approach could reconcile the vastness of the observable universe with the plausibility of simulation. So, what do you make of this mysterious video? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.